Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry here, the Ginger Runner, with another GingerRunner.com review. We are going back to Skechers Performance and bringing out the Go Trail. What? Here's the deal, guys. Skechers Performance, yes, associated with Skechers, but a different department, has been flying under my radar for far too long. I've reviewed some of their shoes in the past. They obviously have big runners like Med Kifleski, Kara Goucher, signed up with the brand, but I really haven't put my feet in a lot of the shoes since those initial reviews. Guess what? Skechers has a trail shoe. And guess what else? I like it. I like it lots. First of all, ignore the Skechers stigma. Skechers Performance, obviously a different branch that is now focusing on creating good running shoes, good trail running shoes, still at an affordable cost because they're able to utilize just huge amounts of materials to create these shoes. That's my guess, at least. Because what I'm getting out of these shoes is not what I expected. I expected poor ride quality, super poor durability, and absolutely no fun. Well, guess what? Skechers Go Trail is not only affordable, it's decently durable and it's super comfortable, responsive, cushioned, voluminous, fairly light, flexible. It's just a damn fun shoe and I actually regret not reviewing it sooner because I've been letting this thing sit in this office far too long. I finally got some good miles in it and I'm happy to report back to you. Let's get into the things I like and dislike about the Skechers Go Trail. Starting with things that I like. Cushion balance. So often with shoes that have lots of cushioning, as in this one, you get a shoe that is too soft, you lose ground feel. You have a shoe that doesn't have enough cushion and you get a lot of ground feel, a lot of responsiveness, and it doesn't necessarily equate to a good ride. Happy to report that this seems to find a really nice balance of just the right amount of cushioning. Provides you plenty of bounce, but also plenty of ground feel, which a lot of people are looking for, especially in trail running. And that cushion balance works great for long runs. Is this as cushioned as a Hoka? No not designed to be, but it's a softer alternative to a lot of trail shoes out there. The upper, it's light, it's airy. I can actually see you through it, Hi! Yes, they use a lot of materials in the upper, but they all seem to flow fairly nicely together. Various types of meshes, some added protection up here on the toe guard, but really what I'm most pleased with is just that airy nature of the upper. It gives my foot plenty of room to breathe, to swell during long efforts, but it's still thin and it's holding up fairly well to all the abuse. Simplicity. I don't get to say this enough about shoes these days, but it's a simple shoe. Gives you a running platform, an upper that keeps your foot intact, no frills, no gimmicks. It's not going to help any pronator, supinators, really is just a balanced midsole with a decently thin, simple upper on top. Pleasant ride from a simple, neutral shoe. I like it lots. And finally, this like just kind of supersedes all of the likes. Price, 59 bucks. Right now it is on sale, it's cheap. I just don't know of any trail running shoes right now that give you such a bang for a buck, 59 bucks. I'm pretty sure that the coupon in the description also works to get you an additional 10% off. It's just so affordable, yes! All right, there are a couple of things I dislike about it. Let's get on with the dislikes. First of all, dynamics. This shoe changes when you try it on in the store to when you run your first couple of miles in it to maybe the first 10 or 15 miles, the shoe changes dramatically. It feels very soft, very cushioned up front, but as you break it in, and I always hate break-in periods, the shoes but as you break it in it flattens out a little bit you're not going to get that super plush cushion ride that you might get initially i would almost say it evens out but the characteristics of the shoe that you might get initially will change over time durability probably my biggest dislike with the shoe is the fact that it won't last you hundreds of miles you might be lucky to get 150 or 200 miles out of it quality materials is fine all the stitching seems to be holding up fairly well at least in my first 50 or 60 miles with the shoe but over time i can already tell where the weak spots are going to be where the toes might pop through this mesh or the midfoot mesh might break through a little bit the laces are fraying considerably and of course tons of outsole wear particularly on the lateral side yeah i can tell that the little nubs on the lugs are already wearing off nubs on the lugs nubs on the lugs and finally another big gripe is just lack of protection yeah you have a little bit of cover up here on the toe but really that only comes in handy in very specific situations otherwise there's no rock plate the midsole material does begin to flatten out as you put more miles in the shoe so you begin to feel everything on the ground so yes you get ground feel but it also is a detriment especially if you're on technical terrain it's just it's interesting that they give you such aggressive outsole these huge triangular lugs but give you no protection. It's going to be great for softer surfaces that don't have a lot of rocks or sharp edges. It's also going to be really great in hot climates because it is so airy, thin, light, fun. So that's it for dislikes. Yeah, I'm super pleased with the shoe. Been running in it a lot more than I expected I would be. It's just, it's just easy to put on and go running and that says a lot about a shoe. For once I don't dread running in Skechers, that's weird to say. Okay, enough of the review, let's get on with the points. Starting with quality, I'm going to give it three out of five because I do see this thing breaking down. Yes, you get a lot of value for your dollar, but overall the quality is just not not there with other shoes. Comfort, four out of five. Really happy with the comfort in this shoe because the dynamics do change so quickly and to mark them down a point. Price at $59, five out of five, that's easy. No brainer. 
super cheap. And finally, looks. I'm gonna give it four out of five, borderline three out of five. This right out of the box did not please me. I was a little disappointed with the colors, but they've kind of grown on me. This kind of blue, gray, purple, it's weird. I don't mind it, but I know that they can do better. I've seen some crazier color combinations and this is not one of them. I still will round out from a three to a four because it's kind of growing on me, but who really cares? $59. That brings our grand total to 16 out of 20. You guys love it when I give a 16. Not a bad score for the Skechers Go Trail. Of course, I got to get on with the buy, try, or why. Easiest way to break this down, buy. 59 bucks plus 10 percent so that my friends is it for the review of the sketchers go trail have you run in this shoe it's been out for quite a while so i'm sure some of you have in the comments of this video let me know what you guys think of this shoe if you would like to find out more information or get a pair for yourself there's a link in the description plus that coupon it will take you over to running warehouse and you can get a pair for yourself yay that's it for today's review if you guys like to make sure that you like favorite and subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash the ginger runner new videos twice a week look at all these social media links make sure you subscribe to all of them over there if you want to help keep the lights on and the mics hot Consider the Patreon side of things. Check it out, it's neat. I think that's it. All right, everyone, get out there. Train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. I have a new film coming up very, very soon. You won't want to miss it. I've been working on it really hard. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.